Hi everyone, my name's Alan Phillips. I'm RPM Global's product manager for our scheduling products. I'm a mining engineer with 40 years experience. One of the key changes that we've made is the introduction of a new scheduling method, which we're calling hybrid scheduling. Our software products have always supported two types of scheduling, manual and automatic. Manual scheduling requires the user to manually select the series of tasks that each piece of equipment is going to perform. It provides an awful lot of flexibility, but it can be tedious when you're dealing with very big schedules. And as a consequence, it tends to be used for shorter term periods where the, the task list is not too long. It's also not particularly amenable to evaluation of many alternative scenarios because Essentially, for a new scenario, you've got to rebuild a new task list. You start again. Automatic scheduling, on the other hand, is very, very quick. It's very good at, at ensuring all the detail of the schedule is honoured. And so, consequently, it's very good at, at evaluating alternative scenarios. You change a rule and rerun a schedule very quickly. The challenging part with automatic scheduling is to ensure that you get the key scheduling decisions occurring at the right time in the schedule. So things like movement of a, a piece of equipment from one pit to another one. Hybrid scheduling provides the best of both of those worlds. It still provides manual control over those key scheduling decisions, but it uses the auto scheduler then to fill in the detail underneath that. Very quickly then you can get to a point where you get an iteration for a particular scenario done quite quickly. You still need to do some iteration. Still, when you run the schedule, there's still some behaviors that you're going to want to change. Um, you look at it and you probably say, well, I moved the shovel a little bit too soon. Let me mine a couple more benches before I move the shovel off again. So we've also added a concept called breakpoints. And breakpoints change the whole paradigm of scheduling, really. Instead of going from the beginning to the end, then having a look at the results and then going back and changing things, you build up the schedule incrementally. And you do that by setting breakpoints. Breakpoints kind of define a key milestone in the course of the schedule, and you run until one of those milestones has been reached. So you can, for example, say, run the schedule until this become, pit becomes available. And then it, the schedule will pause at that point. It will show you the state of the mine, where all of the resources are currently working. You can look back in time if you want to, to see how you got to that point, and you can change what's going to happen into the future. So you can set up a rough schedule, but slowly step through it and refine that schedule as you go. Key point here is that rather than running the whole schedule every time you want to, to evaluate a, an option and then hopefully try and go back and change the right thing, you step through it and change it as you're going. And then what we found is that you get there generally faster and your first iteration is much, much closer to the end result than you would have otherwise been. If you have any more questions about hybrid scheduling or solutions in general, there is information on our website and in our user community.